so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and today we are talking about the differences between glm 4.5 versus glm 4.5 air so just a couple of days back zifu ai has released glm 4.5 which is taken to be the best open source ai model beating kimi k2 and quen3 reasoning models as well the team has released two versions that is glm 4.5 and glm 4.5 air and in this short video i would be explaining you how they differ so basically before we go on to the differences what are the common things they are by the same team uses the same architecture that is mixture of experts both support 128 kit context length and difference matters just for deployment if you have resources and if you don't have it so talking about the size and architecture here comes the biggest difference that is glm 4.5 is about 355 billion parameters with about 32 billion active parameters while in case of glm 4.5 air is about one third the size and even the active parameters are about one third hence in terms of size and architecture only glm 4.5 air is smaller but once you see the benchmarks in the next slides you will see that the difference is quite minor talking about the hardware and speed also i think glm 4.5 would require training grade gpus like a100 or h100 for inferencing and even the token speed is a little slower that is 30 to 50 tokens per second while in case of glm 4.5 air it can work on consumer grade gpu also and the speed is quite fast that is 80 120 tokens per second so here you can see that the size is massively reduced but the speed has also taken a massive shift talking about the benchmarks as you can see the size is one third but i think the benchmarks are almost good and if you are not into research and if you are not very much into you want a 100% accurate answer at times glm 4.5 air can be your go to solution so if you look at mmlu pro the difference is not huge i think about 2 to 3% same goes for aime 24 Mac 500 is almost the same, and in terms of tool calling, also I think the difference is not more than five percent. Talking about the cost perspective, also here you can see that the cost GLM 4.5 Air is about half the cost compared to GLM 4.5. Though the cost of the APIs is actually quite low, given input per million and output per million, if you see about point three dollars, so it's nothing. when to use which model i think by now you might have got a clue glm 4.5 is for complex problem statements long reasoning high tool reliability and planning agents enterprise basically while glm 4.5 can be used for common use cases at home chatbots where you require quick responses though the model is one third as you see on the benchmarks it is not falling way behind it is just minorly short talking about the availability and integration i think it is available on zifu ai it's the both the models are open sourced hence you can find it on hugging face as well as model scope 2 for fine tuning both can be went through lora and q lora and can run with vllm extra llama 2 and fast chat 2 now before we end this up let's try out both the models and let's see the difference so here you can see that i am on chat.z.ai to test out both the models If you see on the top left, GLM 4.5 is live now, and if you click here, GLM 4.5 Air is also present. So let me ask it a basic question, and then we'll jump on to GLM 4.5 Air too. What is the meaning of life? Let's hit enter. I'm just testing it out. How it inferences, what's the speed, etc. I'm not judging it on the quality. Both the models are reasoning models. Do remember that. Here you can see that GLM 4.5 has started reasoning. It has started thinking, and quite soon it would be able to give you an output too. Though it would be comparatively slower than GLM 4.5 Air, that we will test out later after this particular shot. So you can see that the output has started. Philosophical perspective, religious, spiritual perspectives. scientific biological perspectives etc let it give the answer the speed is decent if not fast and here we got the answer now let's try this the same question with glm 4.5 air 
let's see the difference in the speed now here you can see that the thinking is quite fast and we have got an answer too i think it's way faster as compared to glm 4.5 that's for sure and I think the output also looks quite similar as we saw in the benchmark also the models are not differing by a huge margin. So with this it's a wrap. I think you now got a clue how to differentiate between the two models. GLM 4.5 is the best open source model not AIR but it is also not falling far behind. So if you are using it for daily purposes I think I would suggest you to go with GLM 4.5 AIR else GLM 4.5 if you can afford it in your hardware. Thank you so much.